Let's go! Little Red Tractor, he's king of the fields. Getting his jobs done with Stan at the wheel. He's not the biggest, but he's a hero. Little Red Tractor, let's go! With Sparky and Nipper and Big Blue too, and lots more friends in tow. Little Red Tractor, let's go! Two out of two. This one for a new Gosling Farm record. One, two... I know this is exciting, but keep still, little red tractor. I'll never do it if you keep moving. This is it. Quiet, please. And here we... Whoa! Uh, go. Now that is what I call a great shot. Ha <laughs> ha! It's not quite what I planned, but that makes three out of three, and I am now the official Gosling Farm Hoops champion. Hey, fancy a game? I'll give you a head start. Can't, I'm afraid. I'm off to pick up some tyres for the garage. But there's an auction over at Babblebrook Market this afternoon. Do you want to come? Love to. Thanks, Nicola. We've been looking for something to do today, haven't we, Little Red Tractor? <laughs> See you later, then. See you later, Nicola. Beginner's luck. Look, Mum. My daffodils have all come up, just like Stan said they would. That's lovely, Amy. Watch where you're going. You nearly trampled on my garden. So sorry. It's the wind. Whoa! Morning, everyone. Ma, you all look busy. Hi, Stan. Hi, Little Red Tractor. Hi, Amy. You have a real talent for painting. Oh, it's just a hobby, but I do enjoy it. I think I need a hobby. Since I finished restoring Little Red Tractor, I don't have much to do in my spare time. Well, have a go. I've a spare easel and paper. You know what? I think I will. Fancy being my model, Little Red Tractor? <laughs> Clink. Ah, oh, well, that's done it. Good morning, Big Blue. And how are you? Ah, oh, you can't beat a song to get you through the day. Quiet. Now, if you don't mind, Walter, I need Big Blue here. Filled up. Quick as you like. I have things to do. People to see you now. Chop, chop. You need a hobby, Mr Jones. All this rushing around isn't good for you. All work and no play makes for a very dull day. I couldn't agree more, which is why I'm in a rush. There is an auction at Babelbrook this afternoon, and auctions are my hobby. The tension, the excitement. <laughs> Shall I bid high? Shall I bid low? Buying and selling, Walter. You can't beat it. It's all about tactics, you know, Walter. Timing. When to raise your arm and when to wait. And, of course, to get there early and search for the real bargains. Really? Oh, well, I shall see you in action then, Mr Jones. You see, Nicola and I are going to the auction too. Yeah. That's right. Oh, is that the auction catalogue? Oh, yes. Always worth having a look at what's on offer before the event. All the information you need is right here. By all means, take a look. <gasps> what? Have you seen something? A bargain? Oh, uh, no. Just a indigestion. Well, must dash. Stan, we have to go to the auction. I have seen the perfect hobby for you, one I could help you with. No, I can't tell you what it is now. Can you meet me there? OK, see you there. Bye, Nicola. What is it? It's supposed to be Little Red Tractor. Well, it's definitely red. I don't think I'm going to be any good at this hobby. Oh, Stan, it takes patience. You can't expect to be good at something straight away. What do you think, Little Red Tractor? Should I give up? <laughs> See? Even Little Red Tractor agrees. Nicola says there's something that may be of interest at the auction, so I'd better be off and see what it is. We'll see you there later. Well, thanks for the painting lesson. 
See you. See you later. And this fine fishing tackle box goes to Mr Jones again. Thank you. Lovely. Oh, I do love auctions. Now, what's up next? The next item is this fabulous old bear. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you, Mr Jones. I have a bit of five. Anyone willing to bid six? Yes, six. I have six from the gentleman in the grey coat. Will anyone bid seven? Mum, we're going to go and find Stan. OK, but stay around the tent. Thank you. I have a bid for seven. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, this is a lovely item. Anyone bid me eight? Hello there, Mr Jones. Thank you. I am bid eight by the man in the rather large jumper. Don't you roam <laughs> down. The man thinks you're making a bid. Stan, there you are. What's all the excitement? How about that for a new hobby? It's fantastic. It'll need a lot of work, though. We can work on it together. Come on, Stan. You need a new hobby. Oh, Little Red Tractor's worried I'm going to replace him. In fact, I'm going to need his help to rebuild it. Oh, he is silly. Nothing could replace Little Red Tractor and he'll be needed to tow it home. It's just a new hobby for Stan, that's all. You're right. We should get it. Wow! What is it? It's an old traction engine. It's over 100 years old. It used to do the jobs that tractors and lorries do now. How much is it? I don't know. There is no price. Or any other information, for that matter. The details are probably in the auction catalogue. Oh, I don't have one. But Mr Jones does. Let's go and see what we can find out. You're on. Well, I'm delighted. Any more bids for this lovely teddy bear? I have £30 from Mr Jones. Going, going... Oi, Walter! Wait, I have another bid that's very generous indeed. £31 to the man in the jumper. Going, going... Hello, Stumpy! No, wait, another bid! Thank you so much, £32 to the man in orange. Who? What? Oh, does he mean me? What? What was happening? This lovely teddy bear goes to the gentleman in the fetching orange suit. Oh, thank you! <laughs> did I win something? No, Walter. You just bid £32 for that teddy bear. I did? The next item is this wonderful traction engine. It's a bit old and worn, but could be something truly special with a bit of work. What am I bid? Who would want that rusty old thing? Looks to me like it's ready for the scrapyard. Stan, it's the tractor engine thing now. Traction engine. But we don't know anything about it. Mr Jones has a catalogue. I'll ask him if we can have a look at it. Oi, don't move your arm, Stumpy. It can be an expensive business. Oh, I don't think we'll be bidding, will we, dear? Can I have a look at your... Shush! I'm busy. Thank you, Mr Jones. Another oh. generous bid. But we need to see Amy, that. I am trying to concentrate on the auction. £200, thank you, and 250 oh. from Mr Jones. Thank you so much. What a thrilling auction this is. That's a lot of money. I am surprised Mr Jones would even be interested in anything so old. You know what he's like. Going, going. Mr Jones, can I have a look at your cats? What are you doing? Oh, wait, £400 from Mr Jones. Oh. Oh, can I say any further bids? <laughs> going... Going! What? No, just a moment. I, 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 I wasn't bidding. No, you see, I was just... Gone! B -b 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 well done. You won. I am so envious. What a great bargain. What are you going to do with it? But I didn't want to buy it. I was just trying to... Oh, what am I going to do with that rusty old pile of junk? We could club together and buy the traction engine from you. Oh, would you? Oh, that would be a relief. Now you have a hobby you can really get your teeth into. Are you sure Little Red Tractor will be able to tow it? It does seem awfully big. No problem. All in a day's work. Come on, Little Red Tractor, let's go. I can't wait to get started on my new hobby. Yeah!